Hey, what's going on, guys? We're going to back another unboxing video. So this is a figure I've wanted for a while. I don't know if I told you guys. And I can't find my regular knife that I use. So I'm going to be using this fillet knife that I found in my knife collection. So this is a gigantic box, if you can't tell from the freaking video. It is an 18-inch figure, but it's not NECA, which automatically lets you know it's basically a McFarlane, which I've never gotten an 18-inch McFarlane. So we'll see how this goes. I yet to see how they look this is supposed to be brand new in the box with the tape cut meaning that it's not a perfect brand new in box item but has never been like taken off the actual back display this is the worst tape job i've ever seen <sighs> whatever okay god that was annoying jesus I'm going to pause the video, guys, because this idiot decided to put packing peanuts in, and I hate that, so I'll be right back. Yeah, that's exactly why I love packing peanuts. Alright, so I'll be right back. <laughs> this is great. Okay, guys, now that that uh, stupid fucking catastrophe is over with, yes, I cursed, I don't care, uh, we can actually open this figure, and for those of you that can't tell what it is, which I don't know, if you can or not through the camera, it looks like you can very vaguely. So before I open this, somebody take a guess in the comments telling me who you think it is. I already know who it is because I paid 180 for them, which actually wasn't too bad. I've seen people sell them a lot more than that brand new in the box. So let's get this over with, and I'll give you a hint. It's somebody on this wall. So that's my one and only hint. So... I'm going to try not to rip the actual box, because I really want that box, and it looks like I could just rip down there, so I don't know what I was doing. Okay, so if you guessed Leatherface, you're completely right. Oh god, he's gigantic. Uh, the guy did say the box is in pretty bad condition, which, whatever. Oh my god, he's gigantic. He is actually a lot larger... Th and then other 18-inch figures I have, and for those of you that can't really tell, I can just tell by staring at his arms. And I actually might be picking up some more McFarlane figures like this. So that's pretty nice. I'll take the uh, bubble wrap out of here, so just give me a second. You're going to see no figure for one second. Just going to see my logo. What is that on the wall? Uh, it looks like I put a dent in the wall. Not my first... <clears throat> yeah, I'd never trust me with a hammer. <laughs> so, that that's him from the front. He looks actually really good. He looks a lot better than uh, some NECA figures, actually, which I hate to say. Because I'm not a big McFarlane figure fan. But whatever. I want to get the Freddy, but I hate those blades. I want to get the Freddy. I really want the Jaws diorama, which you can see right there. I really want that. The Freddy, and I really want the Michael because I don't have all three 18-inch Michaels. Uh, so, yeah. So it is a Movie Maniacs 18-inch. As you can see right there in the packaging, the guy did mention that. So it has bad shelf wear on the bottom and stuff like that. So, whatever. But he did say that the figure's brand new. As you can see, he's still got the twist ties and stuff. So... Yeah, that's about it for this figure unboxing. Tell me what you guys thought about this. Comment section below. Tell me how much you guys like packing peanuts. <laughs> and remember to like, favorite, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.